About three weeks' time. Yeah. Okay, not bad. Now, this is the bit you've all been waiting for. The three most often used words that voters in that poll, the Quinnipiac poll, used to describe Hillary. Here they are. Read them and weep. Liar, dishonest, untrustworthy. Alexis Levinson from the National Review joins us from Washington. Alexis, welcome to the program. It would seem to me that when donors take a look at that, those words used and her slippage in the polls, I think donors are going to walk away from her. What say you? Well, and we're already seeing reports that some donors are talking seriously to Joe Biden or talking to people around in Joe Biden's orbit because she, she clearly does have a problem. Um, those are not words you want to have describing the potential Democratic nominee. And so it seems like voters are, or donors are trying to look for an alternative now. now. Do you think, I mean, you follow politics far more closely than I do. Do, do, do you think Joe Biden is going to run? Because he was saying just yesterday, I think, that um, he's got to consider a lot of things. He's kind of beaten up in his soul at the moment. And maybe, maybe he's not up for all it takes for a, for a presidential run. Yeah, I mean, the timing is very unfortunate for him because his son did just die. And that's obviously a really loaded emotional situation to be looking at running for president. But it, it does sound like there are really serious machinations going on here. I mean, it's, it's all getting leaked out. He's talking to people. Donors are talking. People really are looking for an alternative. And he seems like maybe the most feasible option. When you, when you build up the momentum, when you know that the money is beginning to flow to you, you, you've got a, a draft uh, Biden committee, which is actually hiring staffers. When you've got that momentum towards a run, it's very difficult to just cut it off and say, no, all bets are off not doing it. Very difficult to do that. I think that's fair. I think the big question here, though, is the money, because while there are a lot of donors who do seem to be very seriously looking at him and looking for an alternative to Hillary Clinton, she has a really big head start. She raised, I believe, $47 million in the first quarter. And there are donation caps to what individuals can give to an individual candidate. And so he, he may be in the position of having to really rely on super PACs and hope that kind of an outside organization springs up to help okay. bolster his bid. Look, I've got 20 seconds left. If I really pushed you, would you tell me yes or no? Biden runs. Ooh. Uh, well, as a reporter, I want the excitement, so I'm going to say yes, he runs. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty. Excellent. Very good. You're honest. We appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us. Come again soon. Thank you. Thanks.